Alright, so here we are, welcome back. We're just doing some requests for what's his face. Uh, we killed a big slag monster, a uh, flying slag monster. Um, it's kind of tough, but we managed to do it. Um, and it was basically just a monster from uh, the. From the events, the whatever, the things where you basically get 100% and then you can just do the little events. Um. What re Good work. Good work. I'm getting close to this here. Good work. Ooh, that's 10 points. Yee, that's quite a bit actually. Good work. I wonder if I can pull it off. Good work. Get to the next rank. Huh. Good work. Huh. I wonder. No, it's kind of tight. Maybe, that's what, 35 points? And 10? And if I craft one of those crafts? definitely do it. I just don't know if it's Good worth work. doing. I don't think it is. I'm not going to bother. Uh, Alright, let's go see what... Well, I'll think about it. Let's go see what this cutscene here is in urban city. Or urban area. Sorry there. Oh, with her again. Is she finally going to give me the book? Um, excuse me, but there's something I have to discuss with you two. W what's the matter? You look upset. That book from the other day? Please buy it. I set the price too high and no one's willing to pay. Oh, right. Well... You should have given us a fair price from the beginning. How much is it this time? Um, I'm going as low as I can here. It'll cost you this much. That's a lot cheaper. I think we can afford this. You sure you can't go any lower than that? I really can't. Please, I've got to make a living here too. Also, I do have another buyer lined up who's willing to pay a little more. Really? Why don't you sell it to that person instead? Uh, you said that you really need it, so I really want you to buy it. If you still don't want to buy it, I'm going to have to sell it to the other interested party. Well, if you're that desperate, I guess we'll trust you. Now, what do you think we should do? Eh, yeah, 2,000 isn't all that much, so we'll buy it. Okay, we'll buy it for that price. Thanks for saving it for us. No, it's okay. It was my fault to begin with. Thank you very much for your purchase. If you put a fair price on your goods, we'll buy them from you. I hope you've learned your lesson. <laughs> yes, I'll be careful. Seems awfully suspicious. I wonder what's really going on here. Now, let's get to reading this book. <laughs> what should I make? So we need buoyant gas and a glass rod. Where the hell do I get buoyant gas from? Uh, a glass rod we can synthesize, so that's not really much of an issue there. Um, but it's just... Uh, I don't know where to get buoyant gas from. Um, okay. So 
So let's go to the administration office. We'll go and Still quite a few days left on all these things. Um, it's yeah, I could fast forward this one. Thank you. Please pet. It's I'm, I'm, oh, 15. That's a bit much. Um, eight. Nah. <laughs> Silver fur. Ooh, that's actually really good. Let's do three of them. Okay. How much money do we have? We have 9,000 exactly. Not, I mean 9,917. Uh, but we still can't afford the next little thing. Um. Alright, we'll do these because we have nothing better to do at the moment. So, And we don't know where to get those gas things. So we will continue on here. And we'll just go and fight stupid monsters again. Where are we? Well, it's five days, so basically I have to leave in two days. Two days. Alright. So I have to leave by the twentieth. I love treasure. There. I Now's our chance. Take this. If only they all went like that. Ah, I found some material. That's what I call luck. How's this? How's this? <laughs> a little effort goes a long way. So we still have some time left over. That's useful. Um, when you've been in this business as no. long as I have, you so we can fight a strong everything. foe, which I think we will. Uh, we'll probably fight this level 28 thing. Oh, that weird. So that other monster I fought was maybe just exclude like it was a boss Watch monster out. just for that area. You're Odd. interfering with my research. Huh. It's fine. I don't take the full swing. It should be fine. Okay. Um. And yeah, that was odd, cause really, I'll make the first move here. The monster we, f cause it was like a boss monster, but all these other ones are basically just little regular monsters. But the one we fought before was. An actual boss, so I'm a little confuzzled. Um, Fire but I guess it's not a big deal. What's more? Uh, we're going to swap. Leaving it to you. And to she is going to use a divine jar. Present from the sky. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Damn! Oh, it actually crit me. Um we're gonna guard him. Careful! Guard her rather. Alright. And it's fine, we'll take a full swing. Eep. Um we can do another spark biter. I'll make the first move here. Ha! I'll shock you silly. And then you are going to use this one. Here. Here I go. And then she's gonna use the meteor because I actually want to see. Or the lava cube, rather. 
so it doesn't double up. Follow but that's fine. Mobilizing. Don't move. I see it. Alrighty. Let's move on. So what do we get here? We got a ruler's claw. Which is pretty cool. Ancient root. That looks pretty good. What does Max Expand do? Cost of search equipment reduced by four. Items effect increased. Okay. Quality fur. Fine. Black bone, whatever. Another ruler's claw. Crystal plate. That actually might be worth equipping on someone. A feather staff, which might also be worth equipping. Okay, so sounds good to me. Um, we still have a little bit of time. I've we can take advantage of here. Before. Interesting to find them here. This looks there. Damn. You're interfering oh. with my research. Take this. If only they all went like that. Alrighty. Is there any more enemies? One more enemy or something to gather? Anything? Anything? Appears to have been quite thorough. There's nothing left to gather here. All right. So we'll just go right. to the Forest River Source, and then we'll go into this area. We'll gather right. one. Let's do our best. And then use this That's and go complete. for rare. All right, we've got And now we'll leave. I still shouldn't ask too much from everyone though. All right, and then we can go right back to town, hand in our report for that area or for that time. I think it's five days to go back. Yep, perfect. All right, go report period. Just make sure there's no scenes before we report. All right. No, we're gonna just go to the. Oh yeah, if we report, then we can't hand in these requests. So we're gonna do that first. Two, three, and seven points short. <laughs> oh, but you know what? There we go. Good work. And we managed to get up to what we wanted to. So we did pretty good. Good work. I'm gonna go ahead and one of these. It's fine. Good work. Alrighty. Now let's check my homunculus, see if he's completed anything. Nope. Okay. And now we will hand this in and get our qu quarterly report. You have additional funds for equipment? Uh, oh wow, that's even higher up. I thought that would have been the next medal. Ooh, it's right there. Yeah, I'm not even close to that one. I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> oh, but these are cool. Research coordinated attack plans which strengthen each party member's support attack. That's Is useful. Work to develop synergy between team members to strengthen each party member's special support. Eh. This correct? Alright. And is this correct? It's fine. Okay. Any okay, we're gonna report. Yep, we're good. Looks like everyone's here. Well then, let's start our regular meeting. We're going to start our regular meeting. R and D staffed up and we have lots of consultants working with us. It's getting pretty lively here. That's true. Our division can finally operate its full potential. I'm quite glad of that. Things were really difficult until you came, you know? I had to go out on investigations on my own. You did all that yourself? Wow, that sounds pretty dangerous. Why? I'm insulted. I do believe I could best both of you in a match if I had one. If we had one. Really? I thought you were more into paperwork and less into, you know, moving. 
At times, paperwork is tougher than your average monster. No matter how I fight, it never stops. No matter how I fight, it never stops. You do have a lot of work, boss. I know that feeling. I suppose I've been a desk jockey for too long. Maybe I need to get out there and get back into the groove. Yes, and if you don't exercise, you'll start gaining weight too. Ha ha ha. Alright, I need to start getting more physical before it's too late. I think you're blowing this out of proportion. Alright. Let's see how we did. Perfect, of course. Anyways, let's talk about your performance over the last period. Oh, it was perfect again, because you guys are all perfect. And our managers increased our staff to investigate, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. I think we could have done a better job, but... No, you were very thorough. On top of that, you completed a few side tasks as well. You did your best. The villagers to the north have decided to leave, but with... The villagers to the north have decided to leave, but with all your hard work, they're coming around. Really? If that's the case, then I guess that's okay. But I confess, I'm surprised that you two would be able to defeat such a large monster. It was a pretty difficult fight. I'm glad we came out on top. That crit has been tearing up crops in the region. It wasn't part of your mission, but you did good. I see. Well, I wasn't expecting to be helpful in such a strange way. Alright, so what's the assignment for this period? Very well. I'll give you... Now, I'll, I'll now give you this period's assignment. Investigate the slag graveyard. Survey teams are being threatened by the large number of slags in the area. Ruins. What kind of place are we going to next? A place so full of slugs, apparently, that the excavation isn't making any progress at all. This is why they've requested assistance from our division, which also has some combat prowess. Hmm, so we have to go fight the slugs too? That sounds kind of difficult. Yes, according to your information, there are eyewitness accounts of humongous of a humongous slug. That's a little troubling. We should probably defeat that too, I suppose. If it's possible, then I recommend it, but please, the priority is on your safety above all. Just focus on your main task. You can worry about the giant slug once you've completed it. Got it. So for now, we need to help the investigation. Okay. So how many are we complete? One. Uh. Two. Three. Four, five, six, so six, okay. Better than I expected, but actually, yeah, because what are these? Ask the monk line, duplicate items, raise your alchemy level, uh, disassemble bombs, and increase your adventure level. Check the encyclopedia, go out and gather, undertake a quest, go to the graveyard entrance, go out and fight, draw out properties with skills. What? Use the synthesis skill, draw property three times. Oh, I've only ever used it once. Okay, um. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. So, tend all this crap in. Are you boom, 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 boom. See what our bonuses are, rare weapons, hero speed, heroes HP, MP, freezing ammo book, and 3500, cool. Anything? Not bad, okay. Oh, and we have some scenes to see. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, uh, Hugh, I hate this guy. Hmm, the register of names seems to have been updated once again. But we still cannot capture this man. What a fearsome opponent. What's the matter, M Michi? Or Mitse? Why the long face? I was looking at the most recent list of wanted criminals from Central City. Wanted criminals? That sounds scary. Don't worry, this town is quite safe and orderly. There is no need to fear. That said, criminals do tend to have hideouts far away from Central City. I suggest exercising caution. A hideout, huh? I suppose it's possible in this remote region. Who's the most dangerous, Michi? I would say that this man, Keith Griff, is the most dangerous criminal here. <laughs> and he was awesome, I loved him in the other game. He wasn't even a criminal at all, Just I think he just did whatever the hell he wanted to. Um, without a care of anyone else. I see. Silver hair and a mustache. And he smokes cigarettes. I haven't seen anyone like that. 
Well, that's good. It would be a disaster if we happened to find this man here. Wow, is he that dangerous? Destruction of property, grave robbing, and major damage to our institution of government. Despite having been on the most wanted list for quite some time, he never leaves a trail. Never. When you list out his crimes like that, it sounds pretty bad, but is he really as dangerous as that? I'm not too sure about the details, but apparently he was involved in some important alchemical research. Though he hasn't harmed any people yet, this is an extremely dangerous individual. I see, an alchemist criminal. That could be pretty troublesome. This is a good learning experience. Maybe I should check the wanted list too. Please do. If you happen to find anything, please inform us. Do not take any actions on your own. Um, hey, Neo, are you running errands? Oh, um, yes, just around the corner. I was going to gather some herbs. Huh? Isn't going by yourself pretty dangerous, Neo? I know there aren't many monsters in the area, but it's still dangerous to wander around alone. Especially now it, that it's possible that criminals are hiding out in the area. But really? That's quite scary. Thank you for the warning. I'll be sure to be careful. Yes, please exercise as much caution as you can. Yes, well, well then, I'll be back. It's important for we inspectors to do our jobs thoroughly, for the safety of people like her. You mean you have to go after criminals too? That must be really tough for you, Mitzi. Although Neo is friends with Keith Griff, because, well, that's like his sister's mentor. Um, but, whatever. Uh, let's see what's happening in the Dragon Fist Tavern. If he's got a new dish for us. Well, oh, hey, long time no see. I thought it would be n a nice change of pace to enjoy a spirit or two. Now that's something you don't see every day. You know the sun's still out, right? Hang on a sec. Hello, Mr. Duke, huh? Mr. Grumman? Um, are you drinking by any chance? Is there a problem with me drinking? No, that's not what I meant, but... We've just never seen you drinking before, so it was a little unexpected. I see. Well, I've cut back quite a bit, but I can see your point. You used to get plastered back in the day. Remember that one time you danced naked? Right? Yeah? Ha 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 Hey, stop that. What the heck are... What the hell are you talking about? What? You don't remember? Back when we were in the service, we used to party all night long. Huh? You mean you were naked all, all night? I didn't expect you to have such a dark history. Wait, you're misunderstanding this. It's not like I wanted to. This this guy wouldn't stop pouring drinks. And with all the liquid courage you got up to... Oh yeah, you ended up going home with a girl. That's enough out of you, Duke. <laughs> hey, hey, Colin. I think you had more muscle back when you were active. Don't you agree? Bing. Yes. Hey, I'm I'm still active. I won't be badmouthed by someone who quit the branch a long time ago. Yeah, I'm sure all that sitting behind your desk has kept you fit. I'm still in my prime, friend. Your mouth's getting a lot of exercise, but time treats us all equally, even a jock like you. And now you've said it. We're the same age, you old fart. Hey, uh, maybe we should all stop fighting? If he just shut up, I'd be happy to let this rest. <laughs> it must be tough being the big boss, man. You can't even brag about your old exploits. What exploits? Those shameful episodes of my past. Why don't you finally start acting your age? Yeah, right. If you ask me, you still haven't changed from back then. Ha, you'd call me a womanizer while you cheated on your wife with that girl from the office. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Yeek, that's horrible. How could you, Mr. Grumman? I was just teaching the new kid how to do her work. Do you have any idea how angry my wife was because you foolishly need to act childishly? Oh, is that so? It must suck getting old. Ha 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 ha. you really must have a death wish today. Whoa, 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 this is getting out of control. P please, stop, both of you. Logi, do something. Me? You're kidding, right? How am I supposed to jump in between those two? Is that all you got? Come on, old man, don't push yourself too hard now. And what about you? Don't even try to use those old scars as an excuse when I kick your ass. What? Grrr. Please, stop this, both of you, somebody. 
That scene really should have been voice acted, but oh well. Um, let's go check out the Apple House. Hi, Neo. <laughs> I wonder how it turned out. Oh, you seem happy. Did something happen? Yes, I received some freshly harvested apples, so I tried making jam out of them. I just finished, so I wanted to try it right away. That sounds nice. Can I try some later? Of course, but I don't have enough bread. So this is the jam. Let me have a taste. Mmm, this is really good. Wait, did you eat it, Lodgy? Huh? It's pretty good. There's plenty of fruitiness and the texture is good. That was my last piece of bread. What? Really? Oh, you should have told me. No. Now the jam's going to get cold. Lodgy, don't eat other people's food without asking. Once jam cools, that freshly made flavor never comes back. I'm sorry. That was really thoughtless of me. No, it's fine. I'll just eat some later. Lodgy, don't you think you should take responsibility for this? I do feel bad about it, but what do you mean about taking responsibility? No, really, it's okay, Eska. I'll just have some. I'll have just have some later. Uh, all right, I get it. I'll do whatever you want. Stop looking at me like that. What? Um. Well, then I'd be happy if you went to buy some bread. That's it, bread. I'll go get some now. So just wait here. I was just kidding, but he really went. What should we do? Ah, uh, well, there's no hard feelings about it, and I'm pretty sure she still wants that bread. Okay. Jam recipe, yay! Um, so now we have another scene in the Dragon's Fist Tavern. Um, we don't have a lot of money right now. I'll buy a couple water flowers. Thank you. Oh, that was kind of reckless of me to use the money to do that, but that's alright. Um, what? No, 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 no. Uh, let's go to the atelier. Because I'm pretty sure we'll get. Yep. That wraps that up. Maybe I should go out to the town for some fresh air. No, I have a really bad feeling. I should stay here and go over my reports. Yes, yes. Just a moment. Excuse me. Oh, Chief Colin, how are you doing? Hmm, you don't appear to be lazing about. I'm glad you've improved. Er, thank you. Is there any part of your work that's troubling you? You can tell me anything. Hmm, some of these tools are a little old and tough to work with, but they're still usable. Oh, and I think there's a leak in that window over there. Could that be fixed? Is that so? Well, this is an old building and a lot of things are getting worn down. I'll tell the maintenance division to repair it right away. If you need anything else, feel free to tell me. Is that really okay? I know you must be busy. Don't worry about it. I've always gone around gathering ideas like this. The people working in each division know best about the good and the bad points of their jobs. If there's anything that bothers you, feel free to tell me. Sorry for the trouble. Thank you very much. Oh, and your workplace looks a little messy. Clean it up before I come back. I'll be going now. <laughs> wow, I was really nervous. He's scary when he's angry, but he's also a very understandable boss. Understanding boss. <laughs> Alright, let's see this book here. How to make jam. Apple jam. Yay! Okay, and I think that's a great place to stop for now, so thanks for watching. <laughs>